Welcome to the Mastery Connect Parent Portal Overview video. In this video, we will look at how to activate and set up your account, as well as how to view your child's current progress. During this video, you can pause or rewind at any time if needed. And thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you haven't logged in to Mastery Connect yet, you will need to check your email. Mastery Connect has sent an activation email to all parents, but it might be in your junk or spam folder. If you need this email resent, please contact the school or send an email to lesliecreep at willardschools.net. Once you find this email, click Activate Account, then follow the prompts to set up your account. Once you have activated your account and logged in successfully, you will see a screen that looks something like this. In the upper right hand corner, you will see your name. The drop down arrow is where you can click to log out. In the upper left hand corner, you will see your child's name. If you have more than one child in the district, even if they are in high school, you can click on the down arrow to click on another child. Even though high school names will appear here, they will not have any information on their page as the high school is not using Mastery Connect at this time. After you have logged in and you see this screen, you can click on one of your child's classes. Once you click on the class, you will see all of the standards that have been assessed to this point. Next to each standard, you will see a green, yellow, or red box. Green means they have mastered this standard or ICANN statement at an 80%. Yellow means they are near mastery and are close to mastery standard, but will need to retake an assessment in order for it to be mastered. Red means they are in remediation. Typically, this means they will go to iTime for our core classes, which is intervention time at the end of each school day. Or they need to come to tutoring before or after school to get extra help and retake the assessment. Archived classes are classes from past school years. Under Report Cards, you can see reports of your students' progress at certain times of the year. These are, these are just snapshots of their progress at a certain point in time and do not reflect their most current, up-to-date information. The percentage is how many standards have been mastered to this point. This percentage does not count standards that have not been taught yet, only the ones that have been taught and assessed. As more standards are assessed throughout the year, the list of standards will grow. To understand more about the percentage and how it relates to the traditional grade, you will need to access the Standards-Based Grading Parent Guide found on the WMS website. To find the handbook, go to the school's website, click Parent Resources, then Standards-Based Grading. When you see this page pull up, you can click on the link right here to download the parent guide. Depending on which browser you are using, the file may appear at the top, bottom, or in a pop-out window on your screen. Simply click this file to view the parent guide. On page 9 of the parent guide, you will see a grade correlation chart. In order to meet state requirements, we must send grades to DESE at the end of Progress 4 and Progress 8. You can use this chart down here to understand the correlation between the percentage on Mastery Connect and the traditional letter grade. If you have any other questions, please contact Willard Middle School. And thank you so much for taking time to watch this video.